Hi, in this assignment, we are going to do a sentiment analysis and a bunch of movie reviews. First, go to imdb.com. Type in the name of a movie that you like or dislike. On that movie's page, scroll down to find the reviews section. And these are user reviews. For the assignment, you need 500 reviews. So if you check out this number here, right next to the user reviews title, you can see how many reviews there are. If there are less than 500 reviews, you have to pick a different movie. Click user reviews, and here are the user reviews. We're going to use the instance data scraper to collect these reviews. There are some reviews that have spoiler alerts and the text does not show up. That's okay. You don't have to open those uh, reviews. So as I scroll down, I can see that the number of reviews on the screen is limited. We have to load more reviews to get 500. So you have to click the load more button and scroll down and do this enough times to collect 500 reviews. For me, it took about 26 clicks to get to the last reviews. Bear in mind that we are ignoring the spoiler alert reviews, but in an actual analysis, something in real life you want to... Bear in mind that we are ignoring these spoiler alert reviews for which the text is not showing up in a thorough analysis you would want to include those as well. But since this is an assignment, we are not going to be too strict on these details. Now, all I need to do is to click the instance data scraper for Chrome, and it will start collecting the data for me. Okay, in my case, you can see the rows collected was 514. So it seems like those spoiler alert rows are not collected and uh, I have less than 600, which was the total count. I will save it as CSV. Double clicking that last bar allows me to expand all bars. This is how you want to clean this data set. We have the ratings here, which we're going to keep for a bonus analysis. Let's rename the variable. We have the total points. So out of 10, and it's all the same. So we delete this variable. We're not going to analyze the titles, so we're going to delete that as well. URLs, again, not useful. The name of the person who posted the review, we don't care about that. Delete. Another URL. Delete. Review date, we're going to use that. So let's keep that. And then we have text scrolling to the right. We have actions, which shows how many people found the review helpful. We're not going to analyze that. and. Let's delete that as well. So we have the text of the review. 
a rating and a review date. The rating variable has a number of missing values. In analyses, uh, missing values produce errors and problems. So one way to deal with them is to impute them and replace them with the average value of those ratings. So in this case, if I look at the average value, it is shown here at the bottom of Excel when you select the column. If you don't see it here, you can right click on that lower bar and you can find it here. So the average for me is 7.57. I'm going to replace those blank cells with 7.57. To do that, first I select the column, then I press F5, then I select special, and then I select blanks. Okay, so my blanks have been selected. All I need to do now without, without uh, clicking anywhere, I will type the number 7.57. And on a Windows, hold down the control key and press the enter key. On a Mac, you can hold down the command key and press the return key. And all those blank cells are now filled with my average uh, rating. With the review dates, I wanted to do something else. I wanted to insert a new variable here. I'm going to make that text column smaller so it doesn't annoy us. Right click on that column width. Make it small, 40 perhaps. Here I want to count the number of days since the review was posted as another variable that will be used in a bonus analysis. So I named the variable days since, and I'm going to calculate that using uh, today's formula, whatever your today is, it doesn't matter. So today is further in the future than the review date. So we can do today the function. and subtract from it the review date. And it will show you at first a date, but if you click that column, right click, go to format cells, choose number, decimal places, zero, you will see that it's a number. Then, at the lower right corner of this cell, there's a little square, double click that to copy and paste your formula into all these other cells. Eventually, since these are now all formulas, we want to replace them with the values. Select the column. So I'm going to basically copy that column and paste it onto itself as values. Now I don't have any formulas and I can delete this B column. There's one issue with these reviews and it's that some people write their reviews in multiple lines and there are line breaks. When you hit enter or return on your keyboard, these are generated. There are line breaks in this um, review column. You want to replace those and basically get rid of them. The way to do that is to select a column, press Control H or Command H. You are going to replace line breaks. Now, to find line breaks, you need to type Control J or Command J. You can see there's no character, but the cursor changed. And don't put anything in the replace with box. You can click replace all. And in my case, you can see 49 replacements were done. 
Now this makes sure that each review as a document is a single line and we can easily analyze that. I'm going to save this. as midnight in Paris underscore full. And I will also now delete columns A and B for the sentiment analysis. We just need the reviews. We don't need anything else. So these are all the reviews that we have and I'm going to save it as Midnight in Paris, which is the name of the movie, underscore reviews. Pay attention that there are a couple of CSV formats here. We want to pick the simple one, CSV, comma, delimited, and save. For the sentiment analysis, you just need to analyze this file. If you want to do the bonus analysis, you'll need the full data set and the results of the sentiment analysis.